Legend of Total War here, and um, today I just want to make a, a sort of a quick video to talk about um, something that's going on in Conan Exiles. Now, in the past, you, you guys probably know I've been doing some, some live streams on this game, and um, I've been really enjoying it for the most part, up until about 36 hours ago. Now, I've been endorsing this game for the entire time that I've been playing it, but I want to basically rapidly say this game has now immediately lost my endorsement. Um, and if you were thinking about buying this game and coming to play with us, which of course I did encourage you guys to do, do not do it. Hope, just, I'm not saying this game is, is going to eternally be terrible, but right now this game is fucking unplayable. It is broken beyond belief, and it does seem like the devs are trying to bury sand over the problems, rather than actually fixing them, because these problems are massive, okay? Um, unless you want to play this game on a single player, or on a private server, you know, pay for your own server sort of thing, then I cannot recommend you play this game. Now the thing is, I actually I really like this game. I like the mechanics of it. What I don't like is the fact that some people have figured out a few exploits and are cheating the game to the point where it's just it ruins it for everyone else. Now in single player game, game uh, single player games, I really don't care about cheats. If people want to cheat in single player games, that's fine. But when it comes to multiplayer, these kind of cheats, it's just absolutely bullshit what, what's going on here. And the devs do fucking nothing about it. We've been sending in reports to the devs for the past 36 hours straight, and we have not heard back from them once. And the th probably th the thing is, they're getting uh, bombarded with pe people from other servers as well, because on the forums, it is just exploding with problems. Now, everyone knows on survival games, Chinese are a big problem, okay? They're the cheaters, you can't trust them, they're liars, cheaters, they're racist. They, they, they come on servers specifically to wipe servers. That's what they do, okay? Everyone's used to that, we know that. We knew that before we started playing it, okay? But here's the thing, I chose this server because it started off with no Chinese on them. The server had a, com a consistent population of zero, okay? Uh, this was months ago, and... Um, I chose it because it gave me a chance to build up. I thought, you know what, the, eventually Chinese will show up, but it'll give me a, a bit of a head start, and if the Chinese show up, I've got battle, battle metrics, I'll just go hunt them down. And we've been doing that for the past few weeks, and it hasn't been a problem, okay? We've been in fights, we've been in wars, you know, we've had stuff, you know, been destroyed. That's not a problem, that's part of the game. What I'm talking about here is just bullshit cheating which you cannot defend against. Okay, so if you're like me and you you like having a massive base, you like you like stashing heaps of shit away. I just like storing stuff, having lots of riches. I'm just like that. <coughs> I'm not out here trying to uh, to just make everyone butt hurt on this server because it gets very boring just going around raiding people all the time. Like, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I've raided, I've caused some butt hurt, but I'm not doing it all the time, and I'm certainly not using exploits anyway. So I want to talk about how exactly we got war like. Um, Wall, uh, what's it called wall glitched, because we were we were protected against everything apart from that, and how you know because the thing is you know you can say well maybe you didn't get wall glitched maybe you just don't have the most defensible base. I'm going to show you how it is impossible to get into one of our rooms. One of our rooms is completely airtight. You cannot possibly have done any damage to it unless you break into it. So let's just go through our layers of defense here. So we've got a, a fairly tall wall here, but really no matter how tall your wall is, um, there is an exploit in which you can, um, you, can, you can duck, have someone jump on your head, and then someone jump on their head, and you just keep, you keep doing that. I haven't really done it before, so I don't really know it. Um, but you, you, you can jump over this wall. We've got Thralls out here defending it. They didn't bother coming through here. Um, this isn't where they come through. We haven't, we didn't manage to get thralls all the way around because obviously it's a big task and there's not that many of, all, of us online. Anyway, let's just say okay. So they they jump over this wall. Fair enough. Okay. Next stage, they come up to here. Now you can see that this area here is not completely sealed off. They probably could have jumped up on this area as well. Now we had thralls all the way up there. Okay, so they would have been getting shot. But that's that's not completely unthinkable. Okay. Okay, let's just say they broke into here. Okay, they jumped over the wall, they broke into here, because it's not completely sealed off. Okay, now, this, the base is completely left as is. There, as you look through the base here, you'll see that there is nothing that we could possibly use for construction. Okay, I've got no resource. This is all the resources that was left on me after my body was looted. Okay, so, this is where we had majority of our production stuff. It's fully acceptable to think that somebody could have jumped in here and destroyed this. That's that's possible. We had a foundation there. They clearly were using steel weapons at this point once they had jumped over. 
Um, if I had a hammer, I could show the damage that was done here, but that's really not important. Okay, the thing is that these doors here, these are tier 3 doors. How the fuck did they get through them? Yeah, well, of course, you know, but let's just say they jumped over. Okay, let's, let's not worry too much about this. If this had been the only damage, I would have been like, okay, look, we need to put our, our, our production stuff in a more secure area. And so we did do that. Okay, so let's come up here. Everyone who is smart on this game builds their base on a cliff. Okay, so we come up to here. Now, there is no way into here. Okay, you might think, what about this area here? That's that's walled off. There's we were we were in the middle of constructing another room, but it is airtight. Okay, if you were to use steel here, you, you can't use steel to break through a tier three door. You can't use steel to break through a tier two door, and this is tier one stairs. Now we put tier one stairs here for a reason. If someone put explosives there, these stairs would blow up first, which means you just ruined your chance of getting in here using our own stairs. And by the way, we would often destroy our own stairs before locking off so you couldn't just walk up here. So here's our here's our room here. Now it's not 100% airtight. Okay, but if you're coming up this way, it's airtight. If you can see here, that's walled off. Okay, you can see there's nothing in here either. Um, there used to be some stuff. There wasn't a lot in this room because, like I said, we, it, it wasn't airtight. So we didn't put a lot of stuff in here. Most of the stuff we put into our airtight room in here, which I'll explain in a minute. So this one here, it's not completely airtight. We will be in the middle of constructing this, you know. We will get into it. So it's possible that somebody built a siege tower up here or used the well glitch. Now, if you have a look on Google and look for the well glitch, I don't know if it still works, but you can use the... When you're placing a well, you can push yourself up a mountain. Okay, we knew about this, and so we tried to protect against it. Uh, we put... Um, we had foundations all around uh, this cliff, so you couldn't build anywhere. But let's just say hypothetically, they somehow found a way up here. Okay, and then you know multiple people got up here. They used the the glitch to to, to jump up here, and they got to this point. Let's just say that's what happened. They got to here. They got up to this point here. Okay, then they ran down here, destroyed all of our stuff in here. No big deal, right? All of our stuff was in here. This room here was the most secure area in our base. Okay, the only way to get in here was to break in. Okay, there you you can't. Everything is tier three. We had all of our storage here, all of our weapons, all of our iron, all of our steel, all of our reinforced iron and steel, uh, leather crystals. We had an armory here, blacksmiths in here. Most of our good thralls were in here as well. All of our best stuff was in here. So if somehow someone raided us down below, not a big deal, but they got into here. Now this is where the, the exploit comes into play. Now I, this is where I and a lot of my other teammates would log off. Now just to give you an idea, we've got quite a lot of uh, team, team members. Some of them aren't active anymore though. Anyway, so you might be thinking, how, how the fuck did they get in here? Okay, because that's what, when I logged in and saw that all of this shit was gone, that's the first thing I asked. Not Then I checked my inventory and see that I had been looted. Okay, now I had uh, medium armor on. Now, they didn't kill me because I was still here. Okay, they came in here, because if, if they had killed me, I would have would have known who killed me, and we could have reported them. That being said, we did catch the, the glitches anyway, but that's I'll, I'll go on to that in a moment. Okay, so I woke up here, everything's gone. The first thing I thought, oh my god, I've been raided. So I checked the door, I'm just like, what the fuck? What the hell is the door still doing here if we've been raided? How the fuck did they get in here? You know, and then I looked out here, you know, thought, no avatar. Also, this is an official server. The amount of time it takes to get an avatar is huge. I'm the only level 50 player, as far as I know, on this server. We had an avatar ready to go, but we didn't go ahead and make it because we didn't want to use it. Um... We had no one to use it on. So, how the fuck did they get here, in here? The only explanation is the wall glitch. Because this door was left locked. Closed every single day. You cannot get in here with that. And we didn't have, you know, people that let other play players into the uh, into the base, okay? All of the, my players that have been in the tribe have been in the tribe for ages. And they are all angry and dumbfounded as to how this happened. And why would they give all of our stuff to people they didn't know, sort of sort of stuff. Because there's a there's a heaps of different arguments you could make. Oh, what if this happened? Or what if this happened? I'm telling you, all of that stuff is possible for anything in here, not for this room here. This room, it was impossible to get into. 
Now I'm going to show you how to do the the wall glitch. It's not going to work for me because um, one of the other reasons that I chose this server is because it has very low ping for me. Um, in order for this glitch to work, you need to have very high ping um, because when you load into the game, it takes a while to load the uh, the walls in, and you just walk right through them before they've spawned in. But I'll give you an idea of roughly what it's like. So you stand there, you go exit to main menu. Get back in. Like I said, this isn't going to work, it's just to give you an idea. So jump in. Respawn in before the base does. And then you can you can walk through walls, do all this kind of stuff. Like I said, my computer is really fast, the latency is really low, but you can see that we can we can walk through walls for the most part. Okay, like I said, it wasn't going to work. That loaded up very quickly for me. Okay. Uh, but basically, Chinese players with low latency or whatever, or high latency or whatever it is, they, they glitched in through that way. Okay, because even if you had a, tr a trident, you couldn't attack through the wall into this area. You just couldn't. Okay, so that's basically it. Now, so we had tons of stuff here. We, we've been on the server... Like, you can check on um, battle metrics the amount of time that I've spent on the server. It's something like 300 hours. Okay, it's a long time. Now, yesterday, about, th about 36 hours ago, a bunch of new players came onto the server, and that's when the shit started to happen. Okay, and they started hitting all, all the tribes. It's not just us. All the other tribes that were on the server, all of them got hit. They lost all of their stuff. And there's been no damage to the base. Now, what's going to happen here... Uh, we've... we've we rebuild pretty much every day. You know, we can get we can get all of our stuff back, but there's no point because they just walk through the wall and take everything. Okay, and they've got all of our steel weapons now. You know, they've just stolen it all. They're at level 10 and they've got steel weapons and tridents and stuff like that. Here's the thing: at one of our bases, we caught them. We caught them there. We saw them trying to glitch through the walls, and we fought them and we killed them. And we took our stuff back. They had it on their bodies. Okay, and we reported them when we when we did. And the devs have done nothing. It's been hours. It's been at least 24 hours since we put that report in, and they've done nothing. The players that you know, we we found their steam because it comes up with their steam name when you when you fight them, when you can see what they what they are. We wrote it down. We gave it to the the things. We said we we caught them. You know, unfortunately, I just wasn't recording at the time. I should have been recording, catching them doing this. And um, you know, like I said, we we saw them do it. Um, and we killed them because they were low level. We had better equipment, even though they had already stolen half of our equipment. We killed them, but of course they went around, raided another base, and then came back while we were offline and finished the job. Just glitching through our walls. There was no protection against that. I tried to put as many um, thralls in here as I possibly could so that if they glitched through here, the thralls would take them out. But obviously that didn't work because the thralls really are quite weak. Uh, even even high level. We had like tier three thralls, and they they're not very strong. Uh, they're only going to repel, uh, you know, weakly armoured players. Anyway, like I said, we reported it to the devs and did nothing. So then after that, we started Googling at the forums, asking, you know, checking if it's going on to other people. This is completely rampant. It's happening everywhere. Um, on just a, on almost all official servers, there are complaints of people getting, uh, you know, having people just walk through their walls and stealing their stuff, or seeing people just flying around the sky and all this kind of shit. And, you know, if it wasn't for that kind of bullcrap, this game would be really enjoyable, but the devs just don't seem to be doing anything about it. Um, I really hope they are doing them their best to do something about it, but basically, at this stage, this, is, this has ruined the game for a lot of the players of, of my clan. I don't expect to be seeing them again, a lot of them. They're going to move on to other games, which sucks, because I can't do this game on my own. Um, so I'm going to be stuck here, basically waiting until the day that those fuckers, um, those cheating cunts out there, get to level 50, bring their goddamn Temple of Yog uh, guy over here and just demolish us. And then they can claim, well, they, they own the server now, because there's no point. Uh, we, you know, we go and, what, what are we going to do? There is no defense against this. So basically, I'm just going to log on every every day, just have a look at, and just wait until the inevitable happens, where Yog is just going to come down here and destroy us. Because we, we can't even, we've gone out there and we've, we've scoured the entire map looking for them. They're nowhere to be seen. We've got people in other clans scouring the map looking for them. Okay, they're probably built underneath the map. We cannot fucking find them. And they find everyone. We've got bases 
all over the place. They've hit every single one of them. I mean, every single one of them has been hit. Uh, has been, and the thing is, it's not a case of, oh, they broke into the doors. If, if it was tier two doors or above, the doors are fine. They, they broke in and, and smashed everything, stole everything, and then, of course, disappear. And all of that stuff's gone. So basically, at this stage, I just want to warn people about trying to play this game at this stage. Um, I would love to be able to say that this is a, a great game. Um, a great, I would like to give a positive review on this game. They've got a great idea. But at this stage, just the level of exploits, that in 36 hours, months worth of work, has been completely demolished. For, for, from people that had just logged onto the server. Like, if if someone had been on the server and we had gotten to, into an actual war, proper fight, that would have been a lot of fun. And, and if we had lost it, for example, that's fine. If you guys look back on, on my ARC video stuff, um, we, we, you know, we had, uh, we were alpha on official server 37, and then we had a huge war against another tribe, and we lost, okay? Everything got demolished, but it was fun. And even the other, other clan admitted, it was, it was fun, you know? No, it, over, over time, we buried the hatchet and everything like that. This isn't like that. When you wake up and you just can't explain how the fuck they got in there, because you can't defend against it, there's no way to do it. When they're glitching up the side of the mountain, when they're glitching through walls, they're doing all this kind of shit, there's no defense. The only thing you could possibly do is have a player online at all times, standing here waiting for this to happen. But the thing is, because of battle metrics, these guys don't fucking come online when you're online. Okay, They, they know who I, who I am, they know my Steam name, they waited until I'm offline and I can't be online 24 hours a day. So that's really the unfortunate case of this of this server. It's really unfortunate because it was a good server. We had a good group of people playing here. I doubt many of them are going to continue. Um, basically, what I'm going to do with this game at this point, I, look, I want to keep playing this game, okay? But I need to wait out the storm. These these fuckers, they're not here to stay, okay? Because they've made no friends. They're gonna they're gonna wipe all the bases basically, and then poof, they'll go on, they'll move on to the next server to hack and and do that because we. We've gone onto their Steam Piles on bat Battle Metric, and we can see the servers that they've been on. The last server that they were on was Server 211. Before that, it was like 78 or something like that. They just move on from server to server, using these exploits, ruining everyone's time, and then moving on to the next server, leaving the server in a complete ruined state. So if the devs, in my opinion, if the devs are listening to this video, and if you care about your game at all, find out who these fucking players are, ban them, okay? Ban them from these official servers, Okay, because they're, they're clearly exploiting the game. And fix your fucking exploits as soon as fucking possible. Just a band-aid fix. Just make them not as, as bad. Or even just roll back the server so it, all of their efforts have been undone. I don't, I don't really care if, because, you, you know, it's been... We've lost players because of this. People aren't going to play it. Look at the negative reviews on Steam. I went and put a negative review on Steam. I'm more than happy to remove that negative review once this has been fixed. You know, they also had the duplicating uh, bug. Uh, which I think they fixed it, but then there's another duplicating bug. I don't know. Like when it comes to multiplayer games, I don't go looking for for exploits. Anyway, that's enough of the rant. We've already gone on for 18 minutes. You you guys see what what's going on? I don't expect this base to be here for forever. There is nothing I can do. I mean, I can rebuild all of the production stuff again, but they just they'll come through here. Yeah. You know, I'll spend 20 hours building up the base, and they'll spend five minutes glitching through and steal everything again. Th there's nothing I can do about it. You know, it's pointless. Um, so I'm just going to wait it out, wait for them to work, to yog the uh, the base, wait for them to move on, and then rebuild from there, because there is just nothing else I could do in the meantime. Anyway, hopefully that's given you guys a bit of a warning. If you guys were thinking about buying this game, hopefully that's given you an idea of, of what's going on. And, you know, don't just take my word for it. <laughs> Google it. Look at the uh, Google Conan Exiles wall glitch exploit okay it's rampant it's absolutely rampant this is worth it worse than anything i ever saw on arc and there was some pretty bad shit on arc but unfortunately that's just that's what happens with these games most of the time it's chinese hackers and they, you know it's no wonder everyone fucking hates the chinese uh they're just honestly the most toxic players in the game uh but what can you do anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to log out in here and wait for them to come and steal the last little bits of shit on my body um i don't know i had a thought of maybe putting like a bunch of like just low tier boxes down here just loads and loads of boxes just so they came in here and basically wasted their time to, to go and and do it but to be honest i'm just gonna go fucking play something else i don't have time to deal with this shit okay when when the devs are, are quite done and ready to to fix this exploit then i'll come back and and hopefully my guys can come 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 
can come back and play with me, and hopefully some of you guys can come play with you with me because I want to play with you guys. We want to build up, we want to build big fortresses and stuff like that. That's what we like to do. But right now, don't bother. Just play something else. Okay. See you next time, fuckers.